Hi, I'm Aditya Kondawar and thank you for tuning into Samco. On the eve of Independence Day today, I'm going to bring you five stocks which will be help you become financially independent. The first stock I'm going to talk about is HDFC Limited. HDFC Limited needs no introduction as it has created immense wealth for its shareholders. We feel that HDFC Limited will be a value addition to your portfolio because it will not only bring stability but also help you protect your portfolio from the ups and downs. This housing finance company is affordably priced at three times price to book value and the recent liquidity squeeze which happened due to INFS crisis didn't have any effect on this company because it because it still delivered a double digit operating profit margin. The management team is also very excellent as seen by the ROE for the past five years at 18%. The second stock I'm going to talk about is Godrej Consumer Products Limited. Now we all know that there was a FMCG slowdown in the economy and all the FMCG companies uh, reported very low volume digit numbers. But Godrej Consumer reported a 5% volume growth in its domestic business aided by better volumes and operating margins of 23.5%. Its international business was also not left behind with a revenue growth of 9% in constant currency terms. Overall, the company has improved its, improved its margins aided by better operating efficiencies and lower operating costs. Also, the company is expected to perform better locally as well as, well as internationally. The things which should be watched going ahead are the expected recovery in the demand environment, consumption in the healthy pace of new launches, and the benefits of distribution expansions. We feel that all these three things could have a positive impact on the company. Now the third stock I'm going to talk about is ITC Limited. Now we all know that FMCG is a cutthroat industry with the business profitability depending solely on the volumes. ITC despite that has delivered an operating profit margins of 33 to 45, 33 to 40% and its peers have delivered an operating profit margin of 21 to 28%. Now, ITC has a very vast product portfolio ranging from ATA, cigarettes to even hotels. We feel that with a good dividend yield of 2.3% and a price to sales of 6.25, we feel that the company is poised to benefit from the rapid urbanization theme. Higher disposable income, more working class population, growing awareness and a favorable demographic setup of India is all set to help ITC. The fourth stock I'm going to talk about is Hero Motor Corp. Now we all know that auto sector is in a slowdown and there is gloom around it. But we believe that this is a part of market correction and this time it has been more gloomier because of the general consumption slowdown. We feel that Hero Motor Corp with its ROE and ROCE of 27 and 40% respectively outperforms. Even with this high ratios, the company is quite affordable with a price to earnings of 15.3 times and a price to sales of just 1.5. With a dividend deal of 3.4%, we feel that the share is attractively priced. So we all know that the demand landscape for two-wheelers is continuously changing and, and with new launches, Hero has not only defended its market share but has also ventured into other segments. The premium launches in the coming year and the strategy to shift away from scooters and uh, focus on the dominant dominant motorbike portfolio will further help the company. So the last talk I'm going to talk about is Hindustan Zinc. Now we all know that silver prices are going through the roof and are touching record highs every day. Hindustan Zinc is a company which is specialized in the exploration, mining and smelting of zinc, copper and other non-ferrous metals such as silver. The company's major expenditure plans will come online in Q3 and the management also targets 1000 tons of silver production in the next 2 to 3 years. The company belongs to the Vedanta Group and as a company it is fully vertically integrated. It means that if there is demand slowdown, the, company, the company's internal demand will more than make up for it. The company has a high dividend yield of 9.7% and a high return of equity of 21% for the last 10 years despite it being a cyclical stock. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.